Two quarterbacks who have legitimate shots at winning MVP this season put on a show for us in Seattle. Both quarterbacks were excellent on passes outside the numbers, to receivers aligned wide, and at executing their offensive strategies. For Prescott, that meant beating the blitz and leveraging the slot. While for Wilson, that meant using play action and deep passes. The difference in this one? Pressure. Or rather, each quarterback's ability to make big plays when they weren't facing it. Both quarterbacks were pressured on more than 27% of dropbacks, with Alden Smith and Tristan Hill combining for 10 pressures and three sacks on Russell Wilson. The pressure was not able to force Wilson to turn over the ball. Wilson steps up, throws, pass, is caught for a first down by Lockett. On the other side of the ball, Jamal Adams, Demontre Moore, and Jaron Reed combined to pressure Dak 10 times with one sack while forcing two of Prescott's three turnovers. The first two turnovers resulted in 14 points for Seattle, while Dak's final interception clinched the Seahawks' victory. With the game coming down to the wire, Russell Wilson's ability to torch the Cowboys' secondary when he was not under pressure was the difference. Wilson threw five touchdowns in consecutive games and set an NFL record with 14 touchdown passes through three games of a season. The good news for Dallas is, in the NFC East, the Cowboys are still in great shape to take the division. While the Seahawks are very likely to make the playoffs, winning the hardest division in football is less probable.